We continue at 6 now with that waiting game in Richmond. Day two of jury deliberations have wrapped up with no verdict in the corruption trial of Bob and Maureen McDonald. We are all wondering what the jury is thinking as they mull over so much evidence and testimony. We have two reporters at the federal courthouse on Broad Street once again. Ten of your sides, Aaron Kelly and Andy Fox, are standing by. We'll start with Aaron and the latest on the deliberations. Well, we know the jury went home today around 530. All eyes have been on this courthouse, and so far they've deliberated about 13 hours. Just surrounded by family and people who love me, and uh, it's as good as it gets. As good as it gets, not the words you'd expect from a former governor waiting to find out if he and his wife will spend time in federal prison. Bob McDonald and his wife Maureen walked into federal court Tuesday separately with their legal teams and family, as they have since the start of the trial six weeks ago. All I can say is... Um, God's mercies are uh, new every morning, and I uh, wake up every day just filled with hope, and uh, I'm ready to be done. But it won't be done until the jury on day two of deliberations returns a verdict. Tuesday morning, the judge called the jurors back into the courtroom and quickly sent them back to deliberate again. The McDonald's left to wait it out. No word on how long it will take and how they'll decide the McDonald's future. And we know the jury is expected back here at 945 tomorrow morning. I will be in the courthouse. You can count on us to be here. As soon as that verdict comes in, we will bring it to you. For now, we're live in Richmond. Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side. 